even better for people who like Gideon and do multiple music is the ability to then use this on screen. So if I, instead of one copy, I'm going to let them do something. I'm okay for now. Wow. So yeah. Now, yeah. 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 They brought us a uh, little bag of lunches. They're all taken care of. That's okay though. Hi. Hi. How does Surface Style work? Um, like from a user point of view, yeah. or so the way it works, you um, you can use it on or off the screen. If you press and hold it, you get this menu, and different applications can um, assign different functions to the menu. There are default set like volume, scrolling, zooming. In our application, we've added uh, specific modes for things that our application does, but um, that's up to the to the individual application. So, like now, I'm using it to control the mouth of these characters. Um, and an application can also choose to have an on-screen UI. So for our timeline mode, when you put this on the screen, you get um, a view of the timeline. So each dot represents a pose that I put this character into, and I can turn the dial to go through my animation back and forth. You can click it too, so when we click it, we use that to play back the animation. Again, an application could do whatever they want with that. But we've used it because sometimes people want to hide everything. So they want to hide all the palettes and just concentrate on their animation. So now you have direct control over your character. You don't have any UI in the way. You can pose and animate them. But if you want to see the time, you just put it on the screen and you see the view of the timeline. And you can move it easily. Like if it's in the way of your character here, you just put it up here or down there. And whatever is convenient for how you're working, you can uh, keep going with your character. And every time I move it, it's just recording that pose. So I can have him stretch his legs out, turn his head to the side, uh, close his mouth, and that gets recorded as a dot, which is a, a pose in the timeline. You just did all of that using the little surface style. Right, yeah. Instead of keyboard tricks. Right. Yeah, I wasn't using the keyboard at all. Oh, so that's yeah. that's the nice thing about it is that you can just focus on your work. It's more direct. Um, and there are modes to like undo an animation. You can sort of um, switch between different things. I can do things like sometimes when you're drawing, you want to be able to rotate the canvas. So you can switch to rotate mode, and whatever I, wherever I place it, that's what I'm going to rotate around. And then I can press and hold to go back to the timeline mode, and I'm back to that. And it works with the uh, Surface Studio or without. You can use Any it with Surface a, product? Or not on the screen. screen. The Surface Studio has the the hardware for sensing it on the screen, but it, you can use it with another Surface product in desktop mode. So in our application, you, you can do the same functions, you just can't see the, the on-screen mode of the timeline. So then you might want to bring the timeline back up so that as you turn it, you can see the time here. And you can use it on your desktop instead of on the screen. Do you, uh, do anything with animation? Are you like a tech journalist? Or I'm, what's just, your... I'm just looking to see how it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's exactly what I needed. Uh huh. And it work, it's paired with Bluetooth? It's paired with Bluetooth, yes. So it has certain built in functions for any application. There's a volume mode if you're listening to music in the background. You can just have this sitting next to you, control the volume of your, your computer, mm -hmm. press it to mute or unmute. It can scroll in various different applications. Uh, so it's, you can assign it's like a functions. mouse extension, sort of, but with sort the, of, bon yeah. the bonus of animating. Right. Yeah, so for our application, we, we saw ways that we could help the user's workflow with this. Um, but it sort of depends on, on the application developer, what they want to do. Uh, and what the user wants to do as well. I switch it back to volume mode, go back to the timeline. So for us, it's perfect for adjusting time. That is 
really cool. And then of course you can use it when the when the studio is up. You can't really. You don't want to. Yeah. Pull on the screen, so you've got the desktop mode. So you've still got the timeline control there. You can still reach out and touch stuff. Let's send those pictures to the. Okay, yeah. He asked for video too. I don't know if that's feasible to send. <laughs> it'll work no matter what angle you put it at yeah you can put it somewhere in between too so if that's you know what's comfortable for you to use you can you can work like this I think for sort of drawing and drafting type stuff the the flat mode is sort of an ideal kind of drafting table but um, but it's, it's meant to be pretty flexible and rotatable and show people what's going on. That's a very smooth movement. It's very... Uh, yeah, it's like... Yeah, it kind of feels like it's floating there. When you're doing that, it's almost like you're writing on a piece of paper. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.